Hey everyone, and welcome to our first episode of the Java OpenGL two-dimensional game development tutorial series. Uh, in this episode, I'm just going to show you real quick how I set up um, Eclipse to use uh, the Joggle library, as well as uh, explain just briefly what Joggle is and why we're using it. Um, Joggle is basically Java bindings for OpenGL, and OpenGL is basically the standard in cross-platform, hardware-accelerated, two-dimensional and three-dimensional vector-based graphics. All you need to know is that it's really fast, because hardware-accelerated basically means that we're allowing the graphics processing to be handled by the GPU rather than the CPU, and that makes it so much faster. Um, the reason why I'm using OpenGL is because a lot of there are a lot of different graphics things you can use, like Java FX and things like that, and all of them are either going to be run on the CPU, or they're going to be run on the GPU and be hardware accelerated. But the ones that are hardware accelerated are usually going to be using OpenGL in the background anyway. I mean, under under the hood, they're OpenGL. So I prefer to just do the OpenGL because basically for the same reason I like to program my games from scratch rather than using a pre-built game engine is because you learn a lot more about how games really work. You've got a lot of control and you learn so much more by doing it from scratch. Um, I don't know why I enjoy doing that, uh, but you know, it's that's just the way I like to program. So what we're going to do is, I'm, is here I'm on the Jogamp website, J-O-G-A-M-P dot org. And this is basically where you can get Joggle. Right here where it says build slash downloads. I'm going to say current zip. Click on that. That takes you to this. And the one you want is jogamp-all-platforms.7z. And I already went ahead and downloaded this. Also note, I'm using a Macintosh computer running Mavericks 10.9.5. Um, this is the computer that I program on. Everything that I do here should work on this computer, and if there's any problems that are platform-specific, you may have to find help. I mean, you can ask in the comments, and I'll help if I can, but uh, Joggle, you're, you're going to find, if you have any, you know, li any errors that are specific to your operating system, this is the place to go to find them. They have a forum, and you can, and they have a wiki, you can find answers there. Um, but anyway, I've already downloaded it and extracted it right here. And we get this folder with all this cool stuff inside. So I'm going to go into Eclipse right now. <clears throat> and I'm going to say File, New, Java Project. And I'll call this Java OpenGL Game. You can call it whatever you want. I use Project Folder as root for sources and class files, but you don't have to. Uh, and I'm using Java 6 because I like to support as far back as Java 6 unless... I need something that's only in Java 7 or 8, then I do 7 or 8, but this gives me the most compatibility with previous versions. Uh, so I click Next. Um, now here in Libraries, we're going to have to add the jars uh, from the Joggle library if we're going to be able to use that code. So I'm going to click Add External Jars. And actually, don't do that yet. Click Finish. First, we need to go into that folder that we downloaded, jogamp-all.platforms, and navigate to a, a subfolder called lib. Inside of this is a bunch of folders that look like this, you know, each one, Android, Linux, Mac OS, Solaris, Windows. Basically what this is, is since OpenGL is not native, it's not actually written in Java, you need one of these for every operating system you want to run on, basically. If you want this, if you want your uh, OpenGL, your Java OpenGL, thing to run on Macintosh, you got to make sure to include this uh, as a native library because this contains the native code and it's the same thing for you know each of these. So what we're going to do is in Eclipse I'm going to create a package and I'm going to call it natives. I just like to do it that way. Um, I'm going to take Mac OS X Universal because that's the one that I want. You're going to want and I'm going to copy files and folders. Just copy it into the natives folder. So that's right there. You're going to want whichever ones uh, you plan to support. So basically, if you want to be able to export this to Linux, you're going to want Linux. If you want to do Mac, you're going to want Mac. I think you can just put all of them, or you, you just put each one that you want in there. So 
if I wanted to do Linux, I'd just drag a Linux in there. I'm not going to bother with that because I don't need to. Um, but just go ahead and do that. And the reason is it needs that native code in the next step that we're going to do. Right here, I've clicked on Java OpenGL game. I'm going to go to File, Properties. And in Libraries, I'm going to say Add External Jars. Now, in that folder, Jogamp, All Platforms, I'm going to click Jar. And we're going to want one that says gluegen-rt.jar and joggle-all.jar. I'm going to command select both of those, so they're both in here. Now, expand each of these, and inside you'll see something that says native library location. We're going to uh, click on that and click edit, workspace, and we're going to find our natives folder. Select that and click OK. We're basically telling the library, and we're going to do this on both of those, we're, going to, we're telling the library where it can find the native code that these libraries use. So that's all we got to do there. Now that should be all that is required to get this set up. I will, uh, whoops, low battery. I will try and run a quick, t um, actually, I, I don't know if my computer will be able to last long enough to run the test. That's all that I've uh, got time for right now. Um, now, if you have any trouble setting this up, uh, I recommend you go look at on the Jogamp website. They got forum, they got wiki. I'd recommend you go to the wiki and look up how to, you know, downloading, installing. This will, you know, learn how to um, set it up for your particular, um, you know, this will tell you some important information, and this will tell you how to set it up for your particular uh, operating system and your particular IDE. So go there, lots of great resources for that. Um, so if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, and I hope we'll be able to do something a little more interesting next time, you know, besides just basic housekeeping, setting up the files and all that. So again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.